Listen, the potty's active tonight. Wow. <laughs> Dude, we have a great show for you guys tonight. With us tonight, all the way from SoFlo, back on the potty, is Antonio Locke. They call him PPP. Back the little south, again on the potty, joins us Glenchy. And a new potty up. Hold on. We got another returner. This, this wow. guy. <laughs> Out of the bullpen. <laughs> he's, he's in the gems room. Where the potty at? Where the potty at? Where the party at? You know I can't forget to wash my hands. Action. Can you get up my face? I'm on the party. <laughs> Fix the week. Fix the week. Let me, let, let me finish my intro. All right? Because we have a first-time member on the party tonight. Let us all welcome the third all-time leading scorer in CSI men's basketball history, Jordan <laughs> Young. Jordan Young. Who's base, yo, who, whose basement is that? Wait. Greg, when did you get back from Hawaii? <laughs> You're not going to cyber bully me tonight. <laughs> Listen, we have a great show for you tonight. I'm so happy you guys are tuned in. What's popping? What's popping, Jay? What's good? What's good, What's Glenn up, boys? T? What's good, Pete? What's, what's... My man in Puerto Rico! What's good, PPP? <laughs> we talking hoops. We talking life. We talking love. We talking... Let's talk about the NFL being rigged. Let's talk about the NFL changing their name to NFE, National... Football entertainment. It's rigged. Mm. I don't want to hear nothing. Starting from my Giants game all the way to every game that was on the other night. Wow, coming in hot all the way from SoFlo. Jordan, you would be a, a, a great person to take this question. Um, we talked about Aaron Rodgers, offensive coordinator, getting hired by the Jets. A lot of rumors that he's going to come to New York. What are the cheeseheads in Wisconsin? How do they feel about that? What do they that say? Don't mean, that, that don't mean nothing. He doesn't want to follow in far steps. Rodgers is his own person. He's not going to the Jets, bro. He's going to lose so much money, and he's going to take a big risk. And there's no way he'll win a Super Bowl within three years if he goes to the Jets. Maybe an MVP. He can get an MVP, possibly. But he's not winning no Super Bowl in three years with the Jets. I promise you that. Is he winning a Super Bowl if he stays? Absolutely. Because is that a fan talking or is that a, because no nah, because my my inside my inside hey, source brother. says that DeAndre Hopkins wants to win he wants to win now and Green Bay is a good fit for him. But but, but then tell me how they lost Devontae Adams. Look look Devontae deserves more is money. Aaron Rodgers more going money. to the New York Jets. Over fifty five percent chance. Over fifty five percent chance. The crowd says. Devontae wanted more money. And he deserved more money, and pa and Green Bay couldn't afford him and Rodgers. Who's it? Who, hold on. <laughs> What's he doing? He's just bugging out over there. He's he's freaking Devon out. Devontae Devontae was the best receiver in the league. So Glenn, are we at a point in sports where money just? Yes. Everyone? Yes. 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 Money's very. Listen, I know you're light skinned, all right, but I asked the other light skin. <laughs> Money's very important, but it's um it's about the room. going on. Uh, he's just a fan. He's a, like, he's, he's a wild man. I also think it's a it depends how much money. You know, if it's like if it's a certain amount, sometimes players will just throw loyalty and their fan base and their their years in a franchise away for that money. You know what I mean? And who's to tell them that it's wrong if it's a life changing, you know, amount. But um it's definitely not the end all be all. I, I I love that answer, but did you see Antonio walk by the screen? I didn't see. Wait, 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 I didn't see. This kid, this kid might get a suspension <laughs> from the potty. This kid might be the first potty suspension. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's great content. <laughs> it's great content. <laughs> Antonio, you gotta stop, bro. It's a kid's friendly show, brother. A couple things. Let's talk number one. NBA trade deadline. All right, we got our we got our overseas. <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, Antonio got suspended on the uh, on the <laughs> body. Our first our first suspension. That's what the NBA should be doing. With referees, maybe. Uh, that's a that's a topic for another time, maybe. Uh, but I do have <clears throat> NBA insiders here tonight. Okay. So with NBA trade deadline nearing. Um, the Lakers, your team, picked up a solid young kid out of Washington. Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Ryu. I think he's a solid addition for the Lakers. I think they have a big game in New York tonight. 
Uh, they're over at a couple miles away in MSG. They need this win tonight. But uh, the Toronto Raptors are now taking calls on OG and Unobi. So what? Who do you think is calling the Raptors for this guy? Who does he? Where does he fit in? Glenn said maybe the Warriors. He's a two-way player for sure. I would say Clippers. Ooh, I just don't see him staying healthy. Whether it's PG or whether it's Kawhi, it doesn't. But if if they're healthy, I mean they're good. They're definitely good enough. They got they got bigs. They got elite scorers. They can play D. They got Reggie Jackson, like who is super underrated. I mean they're good for sure. I think they could beat anybody in the West if they're fully healthy. But that's the question, though. Are they going to be fully healthy? If he went out east, maybe Atlanta, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Well, Atlanta's going down, I feel like. They don't even want Trey Young there anymore. He's their franchise player. Supposedly, he's beefing with the coach and shit. I don't know if you guys heard that. It did, It never made sense to me to bring another point guard when you have a young franchise point guard there. It kind of didn't sit right with me. Did it sit right with Trey, maybe? If now we're seeing what Glenn just said? Well, they probably, like like Glenn said, they probably brought him in because they heard Trey was beefing with the coach. And they said, oh, if Trey wants out, we got to bring somebody in now before it's too late. Because if we bring someone later, oh, we're like be he fucking... Been be- he could have been beefing before the trade even happened. Yeah, it just happened yeah earlier. Year. Nah, but I, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's the... I don't know if it was all that, but, like, it could be. But, like, Trey Young is just... So I don't understand how he can even be beefing with his coach. I mean, what is there not to like about Trey Young? I think he's one of the best point guards in the league. Obviously, that's probably some behind the behind the closed door shit, but they're a tough team, but are they a contender? And this is where the question comes with contenders. Like people consider contenders playoff teams. Some people consider contenders, well, I consider contenders teams that could actually win the championship. No, but listen, know. we gotta we gotta keep it real on the potty because I understand where you're coming from with contenders. The Lakers are a contender now. Now. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Not now, but they could be. Yes. They definitely have the potential. Well, well, I don't think so. Uh, well, listen, we're going to bring in our uh, our co-host who's running a little late tonight. I think he thought we were on the 10 p.m. slot tonight. But uh, we're having uh, him our co-host. He always surprises us on how he enters. Blakey, Blakey. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He looks like Heath Ledger right now. <laughs> Look at his dramatic entrance. Oh my god. <laughs> Brian, did you think we were on the no. tennis going? <laughs> I'm doing great. How you guys? How you guys doing? How's the potty going? Oh, we, we had our first suspension on the potty. We suspended Antonio. <laughs> too much going on. He has a two days. What did two-day. Antonio do? Brian, it's okay. You don't have to pay him a visit. Remember, remember, I'm out here in Florida. I can go get him. <laughs> look, at the, look at his eyes. <laughs> Brian, it's okay. You don't have to pay him a visit. I mean, I'm out here in Florida. I can go up there real quick. 25 minutes. He did some inappropriate things that we need to discuss. What did he do? I wasn't here. What did he do? You, you got to tune into YouTube uh, Monday through Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, we have a special guest tonight. First time on the late night party. How's, how's that it going, night? buddy? How's it, I said, how's it going? <laughs> it's going. It's going. <laughs> So, Brian, we were just talking about how the Lakers have a five-point lead. Uh, Bronny's not shooting the best, but he has 20, 10, and 8. Uh, AD has 20. And the new kid, Roy, from Washington, has 20 points. That's exactly what the Lakers needed to be a contender. Does this make them a contender to you, Brian? Bro, you can't just pick up some players and win a championship. It doesn't work like that. You know that. You got to build chemistry. Their second half of the season, they got to build that chemistry. You think it'll be in time to, to beat teams that have been playing five years together now? Absolutely. Like, like the Bucks, they're not beating Jordan. the Bucks. Jordan, we need you more on the potty. Absolutely. They're not beating the Bucks, bro. They're beating Boston. Wait, 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 they're, wait, not, wait, they're not wait. beating Boston. They're not whoa, beating the Bucks. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you noticed, Brian got them out of the West already. Oh, yeah, that's a good Does point. Does that matter? Are they, the, are they beating Golden State? Are they, beating, 
Are they beating yeah. Golden State in a seven-game they, series? They, they have big-time matchup problems for Golden State right now. They do. They do. They do. I like the topics of contenders because it really gives us a, a, a conversation that can get revisited later in the year. And it'll be interesting to see how the chemistry builds, uh, where the Warriors are. And we mentioned some other contenders. They like can't that. shoot it. They can't shoot it well enough. The Lakers. They need to get somebody in this trade deadline that can shoot. But they're going to be trading twos for threes, I think, against these teams that can really shoot it in the West. <laughs> Jordan, don't condone this, bro. Uh, all right. Jordan. What? Glenchy. Do you know what time it is? It's time for the last wipe. So on the RBC Network, on the Late Night Potty, we like to wrap up the potty with the last wipe. So we like to wipe the slate clean. Jordan, what's on your mind? What do you want the people to know? Uh, we hope you come back. We hope you had a great time on the potty. We hope you're relieved. That's what the potty's about. It's to release. And um, on the last wipe, we want you to wipe the slate clean. You know what's on my mind? My one of my best friends, his wife got robbed at gunpoint last night in Manhattan, and Where? she made the new and she made the news in Inwood. Whoa, we hope she's all right. So yeah, she is. She's good, but it's just you know, it's 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 a it's a something to keep everybody everybody's head on a swivel now because this shit can happen to anybody. You and can't the fuck be looking up at your phone all the time. And the fucked up. Thing, the fucked up thing about it is these motherfuckers who were doing this shit, they're back on the street 24 hours later doing the same thing. Now, now that right there is something that in New York City, you know what a cop told me? Some A cop, multiple cops, and I know we all know cops. Glunchy's brother's a cop, and Jordan, your mm -hmm. best friend's a cop. We, we all know family yep. members, friends. They said the paperwork takes longer than the amount of time the person's in custody for. So they don't even want to go through the paperwork. That's a mindset on not only the person doing these acts, but now the the officers, it's like a, a double-edged sword that is not good. And I really don't know. How does how does how does Chad GBT help that process go faster? I'm not too knowledgeable about it. Brian. That's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> the hell? I wouldn't. I, I would think it would, would though, wouldn't it? How would an AI system help that? How that person is the answer. AI was the, AI was the answer. That's balls, balls right there. <laughs> but Jordan, that is crazy. All right, my last white. So you know, I've I've been putting on some weight. You know, drinking my protein, my creatine, eating steak, eggs, and. So the other day I, I went to go work out in the morning and show that's your last wife. Excuse me, Greg. I'm telling my story. Thank you. Um, so I go and I just I, I let out a huge fart. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning in my car. So it's like absolute shit, right? But I liked it. Uh, it why why do we like our own farts? We, I know we, we all do. Do we? I know you I think I we know, tolerate it. I think we, we I think we tolerate fart. them. We don't like them. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say we like it. We we just put up with them because we know it's yeah. our own body. No, nah, you're, yeah. you're smelling that like yeah. I know. Nah. Yeah. There you are. Stop lying. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? It's the second sniff. It's the first one's like that's not <laughs> the first sniff. <laughs> first sniff. <laughs> First sniff is like, it's not bad. The second one's like, it's still a fart. Are you taking a third sniff? No. <laughs> this, guy, no. This, guy, this guy's lying right no. now. This guy is such a liar. What should the headline on YouTube be on this episode? NYPD, NBA, faults. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shit on the potty. Well, Shoot listen, there's shit. one minute left remaining <laughs> on the late night potty. Brought to you by the RBC Network. Guys, it was a pleasure. We had our first suspension tonight. Uh, unfortunately, he'll have a 24-hour <laughs> suspension. Uh, first time on potty history, but we'll we'll talk about it off air and we'll um we'll allow Jay him to come on. JY, it was great having you. I don't appreciate the line, but listen, I still love seeing your face. <laughs> I, I hope you come on the potty more often for sure. Please, please invite me. I want to come every night.
Blanche, we hope I didn't I never knew it's an hour ahead in Puerto Rico. It's an hour ahead. Yeah. So I'm cutting into my bedtime I'm actually a little hour late. I go to bed around like 8:30. So on no, I'm kidding. No, it's fine. I'm glad to be here with you guys. Signing off, fellas. We'll see you tomorrow night on the late night party. Peace. Can you get up my face? I'm on the